three, two, one. And my foot was just like dangling. Oh, this you crazy mother. Yo! Hey, lady. You don't have OCD. You forgot your spaghetti. You have OBCD. Okay, thank you. I didn't know my psychiatrist was on here. I'm Ashley Darby. That should be my middle name. Amberlynn Hungry Reed. <laughs> I don't know, I just feel so disconnected. She was like, you're healthy. So much care. But you are obese. Mm -hmm. Hello? Is anyone home? Hey girls, welcome back. Destiny has uploaded another video spilling some Amberlynn tea, and it's just starting to get good. It seems Destiny isn't going to be holding back when it comes to setting the record straight, and I'm here for this tea. We are on to the year 2016, and she has split this one into two parts, so let's go ahead and take a look at this first one together. Let's go! Hey guys, so I just wanted to start out with um, a couple things real quick. This might end up being a two-part video because I don't want these videos to be like super long. And a lot of stuff happened in 2016. I didn't realize that it was that busy of a year, but a lot, a lot of stuff happened in 2016. When I said Amber Lynn knew that I was secretly talking to my ex, she did not know that till me and Dana broke up. And that's because I had told Dana about it when we broke up, I don't know why, but she told Amber Lynn. It was the day before I came, went to come here, I was literally at the pharmacy getting the prescriptions I was getting and she called me when I got in my car. She just said it. She was like, you were talking to such and such the whole time that we were together. I was like, no, it wasn't the whole time we were together. Obviously Dana told you that because she's the only person that knew that and she denied it she tried to say that dana didn't tell her i was like well i've only ever told dana and she just kind of tried to skip over it try to figure out what i was doing and i just kind of tried to end the conversation so all right so starting in january of 2016 we got twinkie that was like right off the bat are you taking the twinkers out mm -hmm. oh the twinkers but our rent included water and that was it and that was right at about a thousand dollars so i mean and we were only we were at the assisted living facility and we were only making i was making like 850 or 875 and she was making 825 so it's hard to live off of that but we did it um amberlynn did manage our money very well i really don't understand how we were able to do everything that we would do like going out to eat so much going to walmart so much so we're at walmart because destiny is sick and she needs some new medicine we're currently at walmart and we're getting a movie red box like so right now we're in the good old goodwill so we're at walmart and destiny is about to waste money Fuck you walmart okay so i'm at walmart so we're at walmart right now and i'm literally gonna get one of these starbucks frappuccinos and vanilla this is like my favorite oh my god so we're currently at walmart right now walmart goals the camino or whatever you guys want to call such a thing what is it called yeah camino so we're going into the good old Ross. <laughs> if you guys are curious, we're at Walmart in our back to school section. If you are going to school, come here to Walmart. We're in Kohl's right now and I'm looking at the purses. I think I've just become really picky. Fuck you, Walmart. And still being able to pay all of our bills without worrying about anything. But then I also think about, I didn't have a car payment. Um, I only had like insurance and we had our phone bill and then rent and water and lights. So. We went to Walmart incredibly too much. I really don't understand why we went to Walmart so much. Well, Pookie loves to blow her money on anything and everything and Walmart has scooters. You guys, I spent way too much money. I'm okay with that because it's for other people and that makes me feel awesome. Like I love spending money on other people more than I like spending money on myself. And I love spending money on myself. So just imagine like Christmas is amazing time to spend that moolah. I know that she talked about me gaining weight at one point. I told you guys that Destiny has not gained weight since she's been with me. I've said that at least a hundred times, but she has gained weight since she's been with me. I do want to say before she met me, she gained weight from birth control. A lot of people are like, why'd she take birth control, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, it's not really your business. Like, I don't want to say, um, a lot of people are confused because they're like, she's a lesbian. Why does she need birth control? 
there is other reasons why people need birth control and I just don't really want to say that um, when I moved in with her or we like moved in together in our apartment she weighed 181 pounds and as of today she weighs 206 on her body structure of course that's really horrible and I feel really bad and I blame myself so much um, she's never been a healthy eater though I will say that but I feel like it's only gotten a little worse since she's been with me. I want her to lose weight more than I want myself to lose weight because I care about her and love her more than I love myself. And when I see her eat something that's bad for her, it breaks my heart because she doesn't understand nutrition like I do and I don't. First of all, when I was a freshman and sophomore in high school, I was like 100 pounds soaking wet. It's hard to believe for me at least um but i was a scrawny little thing i always had an issue with my period my cramps were so bad that i would black out i was hurting really bad one day and i had taken some stuff and i couldn't take no more basically and it was still hurting so i liked to get in the shower and like sit and just let the water hit me and it kind of helped a little bit well i blacked out in there and i don't know how long i was in there um but it freaked her out enough to where we made myself an appointment and I got put on birth control. My birth control made me put on weight like crazy. And I was, I just like put it on so fast and that's when I quit. And then I've slowly just gained weight over the years more. Just, I'm a really picky eater. I'm a really picky eater if it was 600 pounds. <laughs> I don't eat good things, but I'm not that concerned about all that right now. Um, I'm not a feeder. I don't know. Something my people were saying I was. I'm not. I get no satisfaction out of seeing someone eat. Oh man, I did that, I did that. <laughs> okay. Amber Lynn did have a very bad attitude, just in general, just with anything, like if she wasn't kind of getting her way, if it just wasn't going the way she wanted to do it. Like this was as long as I've known her. <laughs> <laughs> Not just when we were together, and even after. So. Amber Lynn started Weight Watchers again in January. We started hanging out with. That's when we really started hanging out with Libby. Um, she was 15 at the time, and that was our roommates. Her little sister. Now I've known them pretty much my whole life. Libby, Come on. say sorry to Mama Number One. Wait, which one's Mama Number One? Oh no, I should be Mama Number One. But I've known Destiny longer. True, but I'm older, so it's a thing. But we all have a joke that Libby's our kid because we buy her food and we buy her toys. Toys? <laughs> we buy her toys. Like, either it makes it sound like I'm five or it makes it sound like you're buying me like dildos. I'll let them try to figure that try out. Try to guess which one it is. Ha <laughs> um, ha. That's when we really started hanging out with Libby a lot. And that's also when we met Nick. Say hi, Nick. Hi. <laughs> Nickaroni. <laughs> What's your song? Nickaroni. I know you guys saw Nick in a couple of videos towards like the end. We met him at a Chinese restaurant. He re literally just came up to us, said, I have crippling anxiety. I try to beat it every day. Can I sit with you guys and just talk? And we ended up being at the Chinese restaurant for like a few hours just talking. And I asked him where he lived and I, I knew exactly where it was at. So I was like, I'll take you home. It's no big deal. Like I wasn't worried about it. He seemed all right. That's also when we started eating at that Chinese restaurant. We met Nick at way too much. I swear we were going like every other day. I was still having issues with the acid reflux. And they tried to say that it was me eating a lot, like eating out a lot. And so I tried not to, but I mean, we did a lot. So I couldn't really do too much about it. I just tried to take Tums as much as I could. It's ridiculous. And about me riding the carts in Walmart, I rode them when I was with her because she was embarrassed riding them by herself. So she would make me ride one too, to make her feel better. I wore the wrong shoes to work today because you guys are never gonna believe this if I tell you. Destiny, do you wanna tell them? You lost your tennis shoes. Yeah, I lost my tennis shoes. How does one lose a pair of tennis shoes? What are you doing? There's no more electric buggies. All right, go. 
like 2 a.m. No one needs, like no one needs these right now. Like no one's even here. Don't judge, I'm on one of these little scooter things because everyone and their mom uses one here and plus my freaking feet hurt. Oh, cause I had work today and I was on my feet the whole day. But look at Destiny. You're winning. Win. We're racing literally right now. Yes, I'm sitting in one of these because my foot hurts really bad. I still like get up and try to walk and stuff. And yes, I'm sitting in a little cart, like I always do. See, she's sitting on one too, because literally we're here at 2 a.m. Like, yeah. Oh, and if you guys are new to my channel and wondering why I use this, it's because it's 2 a.m. Destiny just does it because, like, I feel stupid doing it. But I really do it because of my heel spur. I'm wearing the totally wrong shoes. <sighs> we should not discriminate against who uses these versus who don't, because that's kind of messed up. She goes through a vegan phase. It didn't last very long, and towards the end of it, she was just eating Fritos and Oreos because technically they're vegan. And this is also when we decided to move to Kentucky with my mom. I shouldn't lie. The reason why we moved to Kentucky, I said it's because Destiny wanted to be there for her mom. I said we wanted to take care of her. I think I might have said that in a vlog. I don't know why, but it's not the truth. But I just felt like it was easier for me to say, you know, oh, we just want to be there for her mom. Uh, essentially, it boiled down to, I just wanted to be there. Uh, also, at this point, Amberlynn only had 2,000 subscribers. Libby's age and the relationship we had with her. I know some people try to say that Amberlynn had a thing for Libby. She did not see Libby like that. They were just very close. Bombastic side eye. Criminal offensive side eye. Amberlynn did get some kind of infection in her eye because she shared makeup with Libby. And then the bra scandal. Rain and petals, these drop. My dirty, nasty, stinky bra. Uh, huh. It was a white polka dotted one, aka this one. People in their fascination with my bras, it was the white with the polka dots. How long has it been that I have been wearing this supposed bra? A lot of you are assuming I only have one, just one bra. Um, I always have the same bra. I did always have the same bra. I want to say it's been about five years. So I ended up getting six of the same design. I'm currently wearing one. I have two in the dirty clothes. I have two in that freaking psycho ass pile over there. And one just chilling. Right here. I don't want to show you guys because, you know. I'm not lying though, see it's right here, there's another one right here. And a lot of you are like, what is the discoloring? Do you never wash them? I wash all of my bras once a week. So. And they're not dirty, they don't smell, but it's like so embarrassing that I even have to say that. I know big girls get like a bad rep about like hygiene, but I want you guys to know that I'm not a dirty person at all. I have wore the same multiple bras they all look exactly the same they're the white with the polka dots they're all the same size and i have more than one i've showed them in a video before right here i don't want to show you guys because you know i'm not lying though i don't think she even has these bras anymore but the bras that you guys would always give her crap for for wearing she only had two of them i don't remember how many she said she had but she had two of the same exact bra because it was the only one that she liked and it fit her whatever it was she had them for a long time um she did have student loans when she started working with me about two or three months after she started working, they started to garnish her wages for it. So she ended up calling them and setting up a payment plan with them. I think this is when Amber Lynn had talked about, I think someone asked her about who she would want to propose, like if she wanted to, or if I wanted to, and she was saying, hopefully I would want to. Do you and Destiny want to get married? And if so, what is your dream engagement ring? We do want to get married. It's something we've talked about before. She's going to be the one proposing. <laughs> because my whole life I dreamed of being proposed to and thankfully her whole life she dreamed being the one to propose. Engagement ring is actually $3,000. I never proposed to her because we literally fought so much and I wasn't sure if we would ever truly be happy together like because there was just so much fighting and tension. Um, we have good times but the bad times were starting to outweigh the good times. Her aunt essentially just became very upset with her and blocked her on everything because she was never sticking to any diets and she was constantly basically self-destructing herself. You know, she was constantly, and I mean, she's still obviously dealing with that now, so. Oh! <laughs> I said, I swear we went to Walmart more, or we spent more time at Walmart than we spent at home. This is also when she started making her soup chili, everything in a pot, goulash stuff. 
Hey guys, so one of my most requested videos is make food, Amberlynn, make food. So I got all the vegetables ready that I will be adding. Lentil time. I drained the liquid that was in the artichoke hearts. I'm kind of just experimenting for now. <laughs> so I don't want to ruin the soup. Everything has been added, even the green beans. <laughs> it's colorful. Smells delicious. Destiny even said it smelled good. Um, but she's about to head off to work, so I wish she was here to enjoy this with me. I did not ever really try these. They were, that was gross. Ah. Amberlynn talked about being nervous about living with my mom because she liked living on her own, didn't want to be under someone else's rules, wanted to do what she wanted to do. Trying to move everything in. I think Amberlynn had, her foot was swollen at one point. I don't think she actually hurt it. I think she said she did, but I don't, I know she had like plantar facetus. What? She never remembered the second word to that. So, you know, I don't remember what is the actual thing for that, but she called it a heel spur. That was not what it was. I have a heel spur. This leg like, hurts. I fell. I think that her foot was swollen from the altitude of driving because we had to drive up a mountain in Tennessee, come back down and then go to, back up a mountain. So I think that that's what made her swell. And then another thing with being at my mom's, my mom had a, it wasn't a claw foot bathtub, but she had, it wasn't like a normal bathtub. I don't know how it's explained. You see it in the videos a lot. Um, Amber Lynn did not shower the whole time we were at my mom's. Amberlynn and Destiny moved in with Destiny's mom in June 2016 and moved out in September of that same year, so that means Amber didn't shower for about three months straight. She did not like the bathtub. She refused to even try to get in. I think she, she was having a hard time getting her leg over it. It was the thing because it, it's pretty high sides. And she just basically, you know, whore bathed. <laughs> you know, she washed her hair. I, like, I'd help her wash her hair over the shower. And she just kind of washed with washcloths and wore plenty of deodorant. That's that's what she did. I said, Amberlynn wants to go to the hospital over any and every little thing. Um, I don't know. It could just be anything. And she'd be like, I think I need to go to the hospital. And I would, she was kind of becoming a hypochondriac. And I had to just be like, stop. <laughs> Like, I'm not a hypochondriac, but, like, my nose never bleeds, so when something, like, weird like that happens, it's like, do I have a tumor? I'm just glad I'm okay. At one point, she talks about how she's not gonna ride the scooters anymore, that she needs to stop, even though she was complaining about her foot hurting. She was just too embarrassed to ride them in front of my family. This is also around the time my mom and Amber Lynn start getting into a lot of spats. Um, they just, they started arguing quite a bit. Amber Lynn's just, she's very set in her way or no way kind of deal, she, and she doesn't care like if she disrespects you basically like she really just does not care to have respect like we were at my mom's house living with her and she still was you know like i don't know if it had been the other way around i was not gonna try to argue with her mom you know like it was like a respecting your elders kind of thing even though you're not a child you should still respect your elders uh, and my mom was also very stubborn and very argumentative as well so it just it was a lot i really wish lexus could have met my mom um i don't know my mom just would have loved her we took my mom to the Cheesecake Factory. We were all excited about the cheesecake. That was when the Cheesecake Factory obsession began, you know, like we were just going so much. I never watched her videos when we were together or even after we broke up. I did, I just didn't, you know, like when we were together, obviously I was living the video. I didn't think to go back and watch her stuff. So some of the stuff that she would lie about that you guys, that she admitted to whatever that I'm letting out. I didn't know that was going on. I didn't know what she was telling you guys. When she started doing the mukbangs, when my mom was around, my mom really just didn't understand it. And I think they got into spats about it sometimes. So I think that's why she ended up only doing it basically when she was home alone or if it was just me and her or whatever. I noticed a lot too that Amber Lynn in her mukbangs would be like, well, I don't really like this that much, but then continues to eat it anyway and eat like a lot of it. Like, I'm like, if you don't like it, I don't know about you, but when I don't like something, I'm not going to touch it again. I'm not even going to attempt to be like, well, it's food. No. <laughs> she says at some point that we were going to take the cats to the vet and that we had taken Wasabi to the vet. We, I never took these cats to the vet. Wasabi came with his shots. We did end up taking them to the vet. It was after me and her broke up because I remember me and Dana were together when we did it. So the whole time we were together, we did not go to the vet. <laughs> I know she said that we did and I didn't realize she was telling people that. So Amber Lynn said something about being scared to be at the movie theater a lot. We went to the movie theater so much it was getting ridiculous. Last time Destiny and I went to the movies, like the snacks costed way too much. So I'm getting some watermelon rings, some raisins and some like Chocolate peanut clusters. What are you getting? Goldfish and Swedish fish. Yes. Obviously, we're not going to finish all this in one sitting, but I like to have like a, you know, variety. But we're going to go out to eat first. You guys kept saying that she had diabetic sores. I don't know. They were mosquito bites. I have scars all over my legs from mosquito bites. 
Um, Amberlynn didn't want to get a real job. She only wanted to do YouTube. You also see her vlogging in the car a lot without me being in there. It's because we went, we would go to, it didn't matter if it was Walmart, whatever store we were at. If when we were done shopping and decided we were deciding to leave, it was me at the checkout with everything and her going to the car and sitting and waiting. That's just how it was. Um, anywhere you go, anywhere you go, you I need people to know that, like, mental things are it's scary, like. There are girls outside right now that are taking selfies in front of a rock wall. 